Hello everyone, so today in this video I'm going to show you how to use um, how to install and use Samba on Linux Mint 19.1 and I'm also going to show you how to install um, XRDP which will enable you to use remote desktop access on a Windows 10 based or Windows based computer. So the first thing I'm going to be installing would be Samba. So to start terminal press Alt Control T and this will enable you to start terminal. The first thing you have to do is you need to install um, you need to update uh, your operating system so sudo app get update it always asks you ask for your password on Linux Mint Okay, that's done. So the next thing I have to do is sudo app get install Samba. I already installed it, but I'll be doing it for this tutorial. So um, next thing you want to do is you you want to make a directory. So I made shared directory. So. Um, you could make a directory too, whatever you want. Just go here and just just make a new folder. I'll call it shared two. So now we want to edit the .conf file for Samba. So sudo nano backslash etc backslash samba smb dot conf and we get here and when you're here you just scroll all the way down okay <clears throat> I already created two of them, two share folders. So I want to create another one. So the one I, the folder that I just created. It's called share two. I want to put that in there. So we're going to call it share two. And I'm going to look, find the path of that file called share2. So here's the path for the file. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to put control C to copy it. And I'm going to type path equals control B. guess that doesn't work okay well then I have to go here and paste it okay that's what's that's the directory path so just copy and paste all this it's gonna be the same for share to okay the valid user is Ace 1000 KS, that's me. I'll start another terminal, Alt Control T. And as you can see, my username is Ace 1000 KS. So I put Ace 1000 KS as valid user. And I put read only, no, I want 
full um, control over it. I want to be able to write in it right in the directory too. So create mask zero equals zero seven 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 directory mask equals zero seven seven seven, and that's what I wanted. So as you can see, I have other uh, share folders. I got Dropbox and Share as well. And Share 2 right here is basically that's a second hard drive. This hard drive right here, I have to mount it in order for me to use that hard drive. Okay, I'm finished with that. Control X, Y for yes, enter. And uh, next thing I want to do is I want to type sudo S smd pass word. That is a set of password SMB password for that share folder A and my uh, username is ace1000ks which is right there enter so the password is I'm gonna put it I'm gonna type it in there type it in again and that's going to be the password that I'm going to use when I try to log into when I try to get to the share folder on my Windows um, computer base computer so after that uh, I'm going to type service smbd restart that will restart the service that's going to ask for my password. I type it in. This is my logon password. Okay. That's it. And I want to find out what my host name is or IP address is. Host name dash I. I'm going to put all this in the video description so you can find it. Okay, got that, so I'm going to exit, or I'm going to try again, alt, control, t, I'm going to put if config to find the IP address, and it's right there, as you can see, 192.168. Point one point one two six. That would be my IP address, LAN IP address. Now I'm going to exit here, and that's for the Samba server. Next thing is I want to install XRDP. So I'm going to start uh, my terminal. All control. And I'll put all this in the video descriptions as well. So sudo app get update. It's gonna ask for my password. I type it in. You could type in sudo apt get upgrade as well, but I already did it. That's gonna take quite a long time. But it's recommended that you do that as well. So sudo app get upgrade. You could do that if you want, but I already did it, so I'm not gonna do it again. Sudo app get install XRDP. I already installed it, so it's not gonna take very long. See I already have the latest version. 
So next one is pseudo. This should be enough, however, but when I try to um, access remote desktop access on my um, Windows based computer, I couldn't because I have to install something else. I have Linux um, Mint 19.1. So, so I guess there are some changes that they made to this operating system, so I have to install X O R G X R D P. So that's an extra thing. Sudo apt get install X O R G X R D P. I already installed it, so it's not going to take very long. Okay, it's already installed, so and it doesn't have to be upgraded. That's good. So next thing. You could just ignore that. If it doesn't work, then you could type in that if you want later. So now, I'm going to uh, restart the operating system. Just going to exit out of here. And just restart and I'm gonna go to my Windows based computer and I'm going to try to um, access those um, folders and try to log on with remote desktop access okay now I'm back on my uh, Windows based computer so um, I'm going to access the Linux Mint based computer so it's um, right there as you can see I'm going to type in backslash front slash flash front slash 192.168.1.126 that, that was the IP address and I'm going to access a folder I already put a password on it and so I can access it already but it's going to ask you for a password when you do it So I'm going to put a test file in there to see if uh, I can actually transfer files or not. So test 07 2020 at 140 and I'm going to save it to that folder. The share to folder. Type test 0809 2020. Close that. address and see if that folder is, if that file is there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shortcut and I'm going to put it on my desktop so that's the folder right and the next thing is I want to map that folder to a drive letter so it's map network drive I want to map it to P drive and say and finish it and now it's going to show up right there so um, I could access that folder from there just like it would be a drive letter share 2 isn't uh, working because that's I have to mount my drive first that's why it's not working so when you start Linux Mint it doesn't uh, mount it automatically so now I'm going to test the uh, remote desktop access. So in order to find it, you just go to search and type in remote desktop access and that should pop out. And um, we're going to put it on the desktop. I'm going to show you how to do that. You just go there, right click, open file location and right click again and send to the desktop. <coughs> I'll just run that. As you can see, I'm going to type in the IP address right there, and um, it says Ace1000KS because I uh, logged on with the saved folder, right? The folder, right? 
with Sambo. So now I'm going to connect here. It's going to ask for my username. Type that in. And it's going to ask for my password. I type that in. The one that I created. And then OK. This is going to take a, a little bit of time because the computer that I'm using is very slow. It's an old. Uh, it's based on an NVIDIA Atom Ion. 330, which is a very old computer that I uh, got in 2010, and I just turned it into a, um, a Linux Mint server. So I'm going to wait until this uh, starts, but it is working. Okay, I'm right here. As you can see, it says running software mode, so it's going to be pretty slow. What I want to do now is I want to go to uh, I want to mount that uh, hard drive. Go to computer. It's kind of slow, so I'm going to right click and mount that drive. Okay, and it's going to ask for a password. I type in my password. And then authenticate. Okay, as you can see, new volume showed up. So, back here, I want to show you that I can access share to folder now after I mounted that uh, hard drive. I'm going to go back to remote desktop. I'm going to go to home folder and see if that uh, file, that test file I created, is in that uh, folder. Share uh, underscore to right there. I'm going to go in there. And that's the test file that I created. Display it. That's what I typed in on my Windows based computer. Um, pretty good. So you could access the remote desktop, you could uh, access files as well. So best of both worlds. So in order to shut this down, you can't go here and shut it down like that. You can't shut it down like that. It's not going to shut down your computer. What you have to do is you need to go to the terminal by pressing alternate control T. Now open up the terminal so you have to type into co some commands so you could also open up the terminal by going there but I prefer using key commands so in order to shut that shut it down shut down now space now so you press enter and that's going to shut down your uh, Linux mint based computer going to ask for a password, you type that in. Okay. And then now I logged off and the computer will shut down. So that's basically it. Just and, uh, thanks for watching. My Ace 1000 KS signing.